Hello everyone. So, it is now that time of year, late fall, getting into winter. That means it's time for the A-Rig. So, in this video, I'm going to go into depth. All the depths. Every depth we got into the A-Rig. But, before we get started, subscribe to this channel, click the dingling, and make her bling bling. Alright, anyway. Right now, the A-Rig is amazing. Once, really, for me, once the water temps hit 50, start dropping below 50, and then until we freeze here in Colorado, and then after we thaw in the spring and get up to 50, I'm fishing the A-Rig. All right, so as far as kinds of A-Rig, I pretty much throw just one now, the Flash Mob Jr. This is the only A-Rig you need. Um, and here's why, because it is so freaking versatile. You can throw with smaller baits, you can throw with bigger baits, you can throw it heavier. It works for all of it. The best of both worlds. I've seen guys throw the giant, like, double chandelier rigs and all this stuff. Or even the, the original flash mob is a little too gaudy. So, I love the flash mob junior. It's just perfect. It works for any scenario and it's just great. So I highly recommend that, but you can throw whatever the heck you want. So let's get into this thing in depth. All right, so it's got the Flash Mob Jr. is a five bait A-Rig. Um, pay attention, number one, to your state's like laws, how many hooks you can have on a bait things like that. Here in Colorado we can have three. So I, this is obviously the top of the bait when it's going through the water. So my three hooks are on number one the center dude and then the two bottom. And that's how I run it all the time. I don't care I've seen other people say you know, put them on the top and when you're going through grass. No. I always just run center and then the two bottoms and the reason why is I believe no matter however you're throwing it what depth you're throwing it at it's kind of above the fish anyway and also I think they're gonna attack this middle one on this a rig because it hangs a little lower it just I've never once lost a fish on the a rig actually in years Never have I actually lost one. Um, so, yeah. That's how I always fish it. As far as, and then the top two, you just take screw locks. Um, you, I'll, I'm going to obviously put a link in the description for all this stuff. But the screw locks in there and just screw on those swim baits. As far as the swim baits that I throw on this rig anywhere between two inches to four inches that's it now if you're going crazy and you're throwing the bigger a rigs whatever I guess you can go insane I, I see guys throwing like eight inch swim baits on a freaking a rig that's crazy to me um, just two inches to four inches these are the uh, striking rage swimmers they are 2.75, so pretty much 3 inches, whatever. That, to me, is the perfect size for this Flash Mob Jr. I will throw bigger ones on some bigger A-Rigs, or I will actually step up to the 4-inch sometimes on this as well. But you cannot go wrong just throwing like a 3-inch swim bait. You can throw any paddle tail swim bait you want on there, to be honest with you. I do like the paddle tails. I like the action of paddle tail swim baits, so I recommend those. 
You can go with a straight tail. You can even put flukes on it or whatever if you want. I'm just recommending paddle tail swim baits as far as color. The reason why the A-Rig is so effective is it's imitating a school of bait. And, in my opinion, the only fish that really schools up like this are shad. So, as far as bait fish colors, or whatever, the swim bait color, it's pretty much just one simple rule a light belly and a dark back okay I don't care if it's white with black back I don't care whatever these are I don't even remember what color these are like I just had some but a, you see that light belly dark back that's it seriously that imitates a shad so well but you cannot go wrong just doing the silver black back sort of colors whatever but to me, I'm imitating shad, so I'm I'm not imitating anything else other than the shad, so I'm going to stick with that shad type color. Shad are very boring and easy. Silver with a black back. That's it. That's all you need. And really, to be honest with you, no matter what you're imitating, it's always great. Okay? Just that contrast. All right. As far as the jig heads, I like to go with the eighth ounce, okay? These are just little swim bait heads, tungsten weight swim bait heads, eighth ounce, just little dudes. And that's because I don't want a big old honking thing. This thing is the perfect weight and size that I can fish it in one foot of water to 50 feet of water. That's what's amazing about it, is it is the perfect weight that you can fish it in any of that depth. The other reason why I like smaller baits is when you go to cast with bigger baits, they always want to just hook on each other and get all tangled up, and that's just a disaster. But bass in the fall and early spring, when the water's cold, you can see all those bait fish. The bait fish are tiny, just popping around. Bass are just feeding on those. A lot of times they are feeding on just a bunch of these little tiny things. So that's why this thing with tiny little baits are amazing. Now, as far as the setup. I'm not saying you have to buy this, but I'm just saying I love this thing. So this is actually my deep diving crankbait rod. And it is a 7 foot 6, medium heavy, but it is a composite rod. Um, and it is this thing I've had for so many years. I need to finally just get a new one. This thing is beat up. The guides are all jacked up. <laughs> it's just, I have gotten so much work out of this rod in like 10 years, but I freaking love it. And it is an Abu Garcia Veritas rod. It is an awesome rod. Composite is great for deep diving crankbaits and it's also great for the A-Rig and here's why. It is glass and graphite. Glass is super not sensitive but it has a great bend and it, it loads up. You don't need a giant hook set. It's great on deep diving crankbaits but at the same thing I can't feel a bite on a glass rod. Like it's it, it kind of sucks. So composite is best of both worlds because it's glass and graphite so you get it's it's amazing just trust me try a composite rod you can try a glass rod too I pers personally do not like glass rods they're just not sensitive enough to me but the bend the power is amazing I love them for deep diving crankbaits like and I actually love throwing the A rig on this thing so, but I will say 7 foot 6, you, this Flash Mob Jr., you can kind of throw on anything you got. You'll be fine. You're not going to break your rod or whatever. It's not that heavy. But to me, this is just a perfect setup. Now, let's get into the reel. I want a kind of bulkier reel, like a 200 spool. I'm not going crazy with like a big giant 
my big swim bait reel, but a nice 200 sized reel, um, like that I use for deep diving crankbaits. Because, yes, this thing is going to cast a mile. So, <laughs> just great. You're not spooling yourself out. Um, as well as, I've said this so many times, a bigger spool with more line on it, that actually means you're getting more turns when you are fighting a fish. Instead of being down at the end of that spool, things like that, and also a bigger spool helps you cast even further. So, anyway, just a little tip for you. This is actually a Daiwa Tatula Type R or whatever. They don't even make these anymore. But uh, brand doesn't really matter. Really a 200 size reel for deep diving crankbaits. That's what I'm going with. Whatever you throw your deep diving crankbaits on, throw this sucker on. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. 6 4 to 1. We do not want this thing moving fast. You're just slowly cranking it. As far as line, 20 pound fluorocarbon. I personally use Sunline. This is Sunline Sniper Chuck and Wind. But really, you find a school of fish, you're going to catch them. But you can also throw this thing in a pond. Like, I'm not going to get into just fishing it. Because really, you can use it anywhere. Especially this A rig. I'm telling you to use right now. So that's pretty much it. Thank you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.